Welcome, you guys. Coming at you live. Today was fantastic. Um, I had an interview with our wonderful mayor, Marianne Mead Ward, on Get the Get to Know Her show. So uh, she's actually going to be coming on to join us here on Instagram in uh, just a few minutes. But uh, really, really happy to have you guys. It's been exciting. This is, um, I was saying on Facebook, this is actually the one year anniversary of me starting the show. And uh, it wasn't always called Get to Know Her. That came later. But um, oh my gosh, when I first started doing this, I had no idea what the heck I was doing. I was actually uh, interviewing my guests on a phone using the speaker phone to, uh, <laughs> to bring them on. Um, anyway, it was so, so funny. So progress, everything's about the progress. So if there's something you're not sure about, just keep trying, keep going for it because you'll figure it out. Believe me, you will we'll figure it out. Hello there she again. <laughs> Hello again. This is so nice to have you here. We're going to we're going to keep you for another 10 minutes and hog you to ourselves for 10 more minutes. I'm good. I I want to know, you know, Mayor Ward, when I picture you getting up out like getting out of bed in the morning and doing your thing, I imagine the high heels going on and then it's like one meeting to the next and I see sparks flying from your <laughs> heels as you're going through your <laughs> <laughs> and maybe your dog Boston like in tow, you know, making sure you get to everywhere on time. But <laughs> but walk us through a day in the life, especially uh, with the pandemic. How are you managing? What is what do your days look like? It is one Zoom call after another. So uh, I, I my day starts in some cases as early as 730 with the first meeting. Uh, and, and you're obviously up before, before that doing emails and getting ready and all that. So, uh, and, and my days can go until with meetings till 10 o'clock at night. So we had one of those, uh, weeks last week where we, it was committee week. So the way we make decisions at city hall is they go through, uh, one of three, four, actually one of four standing committees. And then whatever we decide there, uh, we send it to city council and the final decision is made there. And usually it's the same, uh, the same decision because it's all the same seven of us that sit at committee and council. But, but sometimes there's a change if there's a close vote. So our, uh, our committee schedule starts at 930 in the morning uh, till four. Then we pick up again at 6.30 till 10. And we had three of those days last week. And I had meetings before that. So I was, you know, because you still have to do other business as well. So yeah. I, think, I think my record for Zoom calls in a day is 13. Oh, my goodness. Do you have those glasses that protect your I, eyes? I should. I've seen them. Yeah. Uh, Je Jennifer Lopez pops up in my Instagram feed every now and again <laughs> with the blue... The, the blue uh, the, the blue screen glasses, I need to get a yeah. pair of those. But yeah, I was talking to, my uh, siblings all live in the States and I was talking to one of my sisters and she said, mm -hmm. I did two meetings, two Zoom calls in a week and I was exhausted. And she's like, you do 13 a day. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so crazy. You, it, is, it is a lot of, um, I mean, it's, it's a great way to actually workshop things and, um, you know, talk to people and, and move the business of the city forward, but mm -hmm. it, it, it can be exhausting to be For on sure. camera that, that much. Now, speaking of exhaustion, how are you in the mornings? Like, I'm the kind of person, I love what I do every day. I want to say that I spring out of bed, but I don't. I'm not a spring <laughs> out of bed person. I mean... You know, it, it like it takes me a while to get moving, get going. I like to have a walk in nature and really get my day started. But how I can't even imagine I have long days too. But if I was on 13 Zoom calls in a day and I slid into bed at like 11 o'clock and had to be up, you know, I'm sure you're not getting up at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you're getting up early. Six o'clock, if not earlier. Yeah, and social media. I mean, last night you were sharing, uh, you know, I was tagging you on a few things and you were sharing after 11 last night. And I'm like, you are committed, man. Yeah. So how how do you keep your energy up and, 
you know, really keep it going? Because I can imagine that's a challenge. It is a challenge. And, you know, it's interesting. I am a night owl. I always have been. And so uh -huh. it is, I get, I get more and more energy through the day. And so, uh, especially, you know, the work we, that I do is very mentally uh, stimulating and very mentally demanding. You're thinking about things, you're reading reports, you're talking to people about, you know, what should we do next? You're planning, you're strategizing. It's very, uh, it's very intense uh, brain work. And so it's hard for me to shut it off. Uh, mm. And that's, that's kind of always been the case. So it's really hard for me to wind down. And so my whole life, I've, I've not functioned well at all in the morning. I, yeah. you know, I would stay up all night before I would get up early in the morning, but I've had to reset that, right? Because yeah. uh, out of necessity, and it is still really hard for me to dial down at night. Mm -hmm. uh, and I I play um, uh, I played like Sudoku or I, to distract myself, right? Or solitaire. Right. These were these were brain different kind of brain work. I mean, I know it sounds ironic when you're trying yeah. to calm your brain down, but uh, these were things that I uh, had to do after I was in a car accident in 2015 and had a concussion. And these were the exercises that that was, were given to me to literally exercise my brain and in a healthy way. So yeah. I've just kept that, uh, that habit up, but, um, so I'm not a morning person, um, but I've had to become that, right. It's yeah. like that, that adapt, adaptation that we all have to do and to right. make space in a, in a busy calendar for, you know, last minute things that come up, my schedule gets earlier and earlier. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll bet. <clears throat> but I love what mm -hmm. I do. So it is, um, yeah. It's so once you're up, me you're to good, up. right? Yeah, it's just getting the blood flowing. Once you're up, you're ready to go. Now, if you need, a, I've got a hot tip for you if you have trouble falling asleep. I do. A friend got me into this. So Matthew McConaughey does a sleep app. Oh, good grief. <laughs> so I always, I, every night I say to my husband, Matthew and I are, you know, I'm going to bed with Matthew tonight. But I put it on. It's so good. He just tells stories, and I'm, I'm drifting off in like five, ten minutes. That's awesome. That's good. So I envy cool. people that can fall asleep quickly. I've ne that's never been something I could do. And and that's uh, why I, you know, would stay up like literally all night. I've pulled so many all nighters in my in my life through university, yeah. through even even on this job, uh, through the pandemic, there's been a few times. Uh, yeah. I, I couldn't sleep and I figured I might as well be productive. So you work, work, work. And then all of a sudden it's five o'clock and you're getting up, you're getting up <laughs> for the yes. next day. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I try not to do that very often and I don't recommend it. Uh, I, I was at a conference, a women's health conference uh, a couple of years back and they said sleep deprivation is like smoking. It's really bad for you. <laughs> it's yes. It's really bad for you. So I yeah. try really hard to, to get rest, but it's tough. It's tough. For Good. Me. Yeah, it is tough. Um, I also wanted to share with you, have you heard about uh, Amy Poehler's new Netflix movie? I'm sure you don't have tons of time to watch Netflix, but it's called Moxie. I don't know if you've heard about it. It just came Amy out on Poehler. Her... Oh, You love her? Uh, yeah, I do, but I haven't okay. heard about it. Yeah. Can you you Gotta will love it. this. Oh, my God. Okay, so the movie is about um, a, a woman who has a teenage daughter, and the teenage daughter starts a revolution against the patriarchy in high school. And it is so good. I watched it, and my husband, like, we were cheering. It, it was so, so good. So if you have time, um, you know, just in celebration of International Women's Day and this whole month and it cool. should be you know every day we celebrate being a woman check it out yes you'll sure. have to check it out yeah you'll just I love it. it yeah well I'm gonna let you get on with your day now I'm so happy that you took the time and I can't wait to interview uh you know some more of the women who are so powerful and tightly connected with you I'd love to have them on the show to share their stories and your story is amazing Thank you. I um, really appreciate the opportunity yeah. and, and I hope uh, it's been helpful to your viewers as well. Yeah, it's been great. For sure it has. Good. I'm so glad. All right. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Yeah. You have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.
Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. And uh, wow, what an amazing day. I'm totally uh, excited about how the day turned out. Um, check out the uh, interview on YouTube later. I will post it so you can uh, with the link so you can watch. And uh, thank you all so much for being here. Love you guys and keep showing the world your sparkle. Talk to you soon.